Um, one thing I want to do. Well, this is kind of covered. Okay, so this is going to be an interesting one where I'm starting a fresh character on a different server. No FC, no spending gill as long as I don't have to. Uh, tombstones will only be on the materials for endgame crafts. So yeah, this will be interesting. So, new character, I don't think I've gotten, yeah, all my saves were lost, that's annoying. Anyway. Yep. Alright, so first question is, what race? <laughs> um, I think we'll go Viera. So why not? Uh, go with Vina. I'll keep her short. <laughs> Obviously. And I'll go to phase two. King color is. Let's see. Britannia is one of the better ones for picking colors. To be quite honest with you. It looks alright, I think. A bit red. Not loot. Uh, hairstyle. Hmm. I'll go with that one. Something I always liked. Uh, color. Not light blonde. Yes. Something like that looks decent. Yeah, I like that one. Ears. Oh, eyes, sorry. Go four. I prefer that green. I'm kind of basing this off a character I already have made, so that's why I kind of know what I'm looking for. Yeah. Uh, what are the ears? Oh, they're down further. Okay, we're getting to it. The color will go for the pink. Our ears are like that one's best. Without that, and definitely don't want that. Yeah. Tattoos are no uh, face paint, yes. Now, the most important point. I actually don't want to save that because I already have it saved. Uh, now the most important part is where am I starting? Although I'm, I'm most familiar with Warrior. So we can go with that I suppose. Yeah. Stick a one I know. At least that way you can get the hammer and be a bunny thumper. <laughs> um, 
so I'm full of mammoth, so what will we choose? Okay, so Frankfurt, Lamia, Exodus, Ultros, or Excalibur. Go Frankfurt, I suppose. Doesn't really matter either way. Yeah, let's give it something a bit more dignified. And we're off. because I haven't seen it in quite a while. Yeah, it's better. You're right, lass. You awaken upon a ship. The beer is spilt. Learning your sleep. Up. Skin. I'm just going to skip this because I've seen all this anyway. And so one thing I'm going to do a little quickly. Just log back out. Also, it will be not... Oh, wait. Yeah. Just do one thing. And documents. And where?
Just copying my files over from one character to the other. <laughs> There's my hoppers. This, so we're just gonna go through it. Fly through all this as quick as possible. Can't use that because I'm in this. I haven't unlocked that yet. It's very strange. The car was lift, yes, sir. Could have just went to the right up the stairs as well, but hey. Quests are the only thing. Well, starter gear is the only thing I'll be using after that. It's uh, get to level 10 and I can start crafting somewhat. So I might push to 15 before that. Alright, so. Okay, so I have to attune to the first one. After that. Oi! Yeah. Why is it not let me down there? What the hell? Put me in rumors, but no gamers I see one. Trust me, see that off chatting with all the folk here before you start wanting to see. I'm guessing you gotta to talk to this one. It was giving me the quest to go down, I don't wanna start unnecessary quests. Okay, so I have to do that one up. Uh, I changed that, so... Oh, that's this quest. Oh, right. Yeah, now I remember. Oops. You have two soon. Skiff. So that one, I'm gonna have to change to this, so this will be my reset point if I do die. It's the only eighth right I'm allowed to activate because it's part of the quest. The markets is further up, and I have to visit my gilly hall. Which is back up here. I don't know what I was thinking with these hotbars when I was first playing. Once Marauder hits, that won't be a thing. <laughs> of Warrior, I should say. All the skills are even gone. Fracture, I remember that one. Heavy swing, main. Berserk should be up there. That 
is fine. Let's see, fine should be there. I'll set them up as I go along. That's one thing I want to always start this. Keep on top of your class quests, the most vital part of it. It's gonna annoy so many people with this, skipping everything. Hey, level 3. That means Hunt Log is open. Well, almost actually. We're going to get that at probably level 5 ish, I think. Can't recall. It's been way too long. But however, we'll go get this done. There's an achievement. to craft everything myself, uh, not using any quest items or gear. Just for a bit of an extra challenge. Once I get to level 10, I can unlock the first crafting, and then that should gear me enough to get to uh, everything else. But I'm going to have to get to 15 so I can get to the gathering. The only gathering you'll be able to do here is Fisher. I guess the hunt log, I think. That's part of the challenge. Um, 
I'm going to get back up to the... I'm right past the elevator and the stairs. Log. Nice, that's just what we need for a boost of XP. One of the best ways to get leveled early on. All of this, I can use the materials, but not the potions or the food. Because I didn't craft that. I'm thinking on the wrong one. Yeah, I'm going the wrong one. Oops. I was heading lower. Oh, I should have chose Bard. <laughs> I could give myself a speed boost. Put the markers on the target so you know which one you're looking for. Kill the next one. Let's go. Good extra XP. It's a nice chunk actually, so I don't love it. The one thing I love about it. Always keep on top of it and push ahead if you can. Most difficult part of this is once you get to the later levels where we're fighting some monsters and I have no chocobo because I don't have the key. So you can't buy the glacial greens. Materia should be interesting as well, because this does have sphere bonding.
Well, the chunk I'm already level six almost. That's very fast. Hoi hoi. How's it going? Not too bad. Yeah, I just decided to go insane in there. Got this. It's one that always kind of intrigues me. Like, could I do it? And it's it's doable, but it's just can I actually mentally do it? But yeah, there's it's gonna be interesting because we won't have our combat joke with us. Uh, simply because we can't buy the Gaisal Greens. <laughs> you can once you get to the van. Um, I know they have the Beast Tribe tokens which can give you the greens to summon them. Now this is going to be an interesting one. I, I'm going to choose that one because... Now to present myself, now this is going to be the interesting one. Because that quest requires you to... It could be your head, body, hands, legs, and feet with gear of item level 5 or above and yourself or yourself. Okay, thank you. So but the question is, how am I getting that? <laughs> yep. I need to get to level 10 for that, though, because remember, you can't unlock a new class till level 10. So, hunt log for this. Uh, to start, well, not 10 for crafters, but 10 to change your class. And then you need 15 to be able to leave your starter city to go to... Well, for me, I can't get to the other starter cities without getting in there. Yeah. See, that's where the challenge is going to come in. Well, I'm not going to because you kind of get something to get for rather than. Oh, well, actually, what map? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, mounts is fine. No, no, we use the mount. Some that require a flying, but uh, there's no way around that. Um, yeah, it's just, it's more of a. Full self sufficiency without doing much. much. Right, so, I'm just gonna set this up. This up to him. Like this is the first hurdle, which is the level 5 gear. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, now you're being able to hear on the Twitch. <laughs> have to try and get that configured. But, uh... Yeah, that's the main tricky one, because if you can't get by that, you have to kind of stand still. So this is why I'm testing as well. Can you actually get there? Or is... I'm going to have to allow a level 15 quest item 
can it, if you know what I mean. Usage. Oh no, I'd say you can. I'm just gonna level up a bit more, which requires me doing my hunt logs. And... Yeah, because I'd say it should be it's doable. just gonna. Un yeah, I'm just gonna say it's just gonna unlock once you get to level ten. Yeah. I can't remember because it's been so many years now. You're done on me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, because once I can hit level 10, I can actually unlock blacksmith and armor stuff here, which is perfect for Mo uh, Marauder. Yeah. Um, the other cities are fine because, like, Limsa is the kind of hardest start to do because of it's not. Essentially. There's no other way to get to Gridania or. From Nimsa Park near the The ship is even not running to Horizon until you get the ship. So, Megala Crab, I might. Tackle them now while I am here. And then after that, we'll head into lore. Like, after you get past this little hurdle, then it's plain sailing, to be honest with you. Hardest part is just going to be getting the materials to come to here. Again, isn't going to be too bad once you get the gatherers in luck. Monster materials is just go out and kill a few mobs. Yeah, monster materials is going to be a pain in the arse, really, that's all. Yeah. Quite on drops. Well, there is one class that would benefit from that, uh, which is Ninja, because they have Mug, which increases the drop rate. But it only affects one target, I think, every... well, for two minutes. Yeah. So it's, uh, not the greatest. The hardest part of it getting to level 10 is just literally being stuck in level 1 here. <laughs> so then, but it's, it's not too bad. I'm fighting a level 10 Mega Crab here at level 8. Easy enough, yeah. Yeah, this is where now I need to decide what the way goes. That's the other thing as well, no player support if you can get away with it. So, you kind of find it uh, off limits apart from the 24. Eight man waves if you need it. Uh, other than that, the majority of the content has the trust system activated for it. So. At least we're not going to be putting people under, uh, carrying me. <laughs> yeah. There's one way to get you back into the game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's the Mega Crabs. That means I'm 7 out of 10, so I got the 3 or Aurelius. Aurelia, there we go. And uh, the Wild Dodos and the Buffalo. All the Aurochs. Actually, they're here. Almost forgot about them. Fighting the Aurochs. I must be the Luke of Aurochs. Like, he could even do one step further and go permadeath and die. Like, way to do that is he's down uh, out in the field if you die you're done uh, if you die during content you get out say doing an 8 man raid if you die during that you get ways it's fine but if it's a full white file we can read it until the character start again but that's a bit much I think that's been much just for a sheer amount of time you'd have to sink yeah. into this game a bit more of a challenge though, but again, it's not worth that amount of hassle. Oh yeah, see I don't I wouldn't really call it a challenge simply because yeah. it, you do die in this game by exactly. random shit sometimes. 
Like, it's not like Dark Souls where it's all local. You're yeah. depending on server times as well on this. Exactly. So and that and it, it could be just a bad group you get, and then you're just completely yeah. screwed either way. So that's yeah. Where, like in a game where survival is key, sure it makes sense. Oh, they're here. Okay. But um. Oh, it's a fate. That's fine. Yeah, permadeath in this is what makes sense since there are abilities and items that can be. But yep. again, you can't use them. Yourself. So you're kind of relying on other people. And even the return, if I was doing that, I'd mark it as the only way to get up is return. And then run back to where you were. So this yep. will also test your knowledge of mapping with the game to see if you know exactly how to get. I just don't know what to map. Oh, the runway hide them in the map. That'd be so awful. Where's my quest? I don't know. That would be an interesting one, actually. You're not allowed to use the mini map or the map. Just have it disabled in the hood. Oh, well, that'd be a nightmare. Just trying to find the well. quest. Yeah, you get lost too easy. <laughs> Especially if you go towards uh, Sandlin, where you're trying to get down that maze of the nightmare section in yeah. Camp Fragma. Really, this could be bad. Tactics in this state. <laughs> I'm just on the character name. Hmm? Just making my character name. Oh, yeah. Uh, then I'll be in. One more should be it. Dodos, and they're unfortunately the only place for them is in lower. Yeah, you're not, I'm not activating any Aetherites after the first one because the first one is tight to the quest. If I could have avoided activating that, I would have. I don't even have teleport unlocked. I have return unlocked, but not teleport. <laughs> And the only reason they do that is literally so you have a place to return to if you do happen to die. <laughs> yeah, retainers as well, they're storage only. Uh, you're not allowed to sell items on the market. Well, I'm not selling anything on the market or allowed to buy anything off the market. So. On the market board, no. I say you can just sell stuff though, um, you know. Yeah. Because you can use retainers to sell stuff. Yeah. Just to, you know, the actual in game market. Yeah, that's just the, even the thing I'm putting up for myself is just no selling. Mm. That way I'm relying on all the gill I make from vendoring and. That's what I mean, yeah, vendoring. Yeah. That, that's what I should use. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Um, well, sorry, not even vendoring. I'm just going to be doing from forever done. But you need to vent or something because your inventory will just fill up. I'll just discard it. Of 
good thing is I'm getting a lot of uh, nice uh, material for crafting already. Hey, level 10. I just got to try. <laughs> Now to go start crafting. Now that is actually going to be a tricky one as well. Now that I think about it, because I can't buy the materials to craft. No, nope. so you're going to go. Hmm. How am I getting to miner? <laughs> yeah, I actually, soft lock, soft lock myself here. You may be right. It may have to be a thing where we do. 15. Up to 15 and then. Yeah. Depending on where you start. If you started in Gordania or Old Eye, you're kind of okay. But starting here in Limsa is a bit of a... But you can't... You're not okay because Blacksmith and Armor are in Limsa. Yeah. Well, it depends on your class because Leatherworker and Weaver in Old Eye, As well as Carpenter for all the other stuff. The only ones that Leather, need it are... Leatherworker is in Gordania. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, like, even Limsa is only Armorsmith, Weaponsmith, well, Armorsmith, uh, Blacksmith, and Culinary. But majority of weapons yeah. for Lancer, Bard, uh, Conjurer would be all in the other two cities. Uh, yeah. So I might have just snooked myself here by starting as Marauder. Hmm. I think you might not even be able to uh, accept the class and change to it. Mm. You might have to be. You might have to do that quest. I want to get level ten. You're able to. Uh, let's just oh, we'll see. see. I'm level two. You can now accept the next class job quest. These quests are offer opportunities not only to learn earn gear items and gear, but also new class jobs. To pick up. Can I unlock armor smith? Let's see. It should be right there. I'm at the gill here, so. Yeah. Nope. There's quests there. They're red. Okay, starting class, quest level 10. Okay, so I can do the warrior. Oh, sorry, marauder class, and then unlock those. So I'm looking at that end. I'm gonna see how far I can get on this anyway. If not, Actually, we'll have here, to here's, rethink. No, I just thought of this. As part of the quests themselves, um, they give you like you you craft gear for the quest and you keep that gear. Yeah, that's fine. And they give but... they give you the materials. I believe. No, uh, they tell you you can buy the materials or gather the materials, but they don't give you the materials oh, yeah. to craft. Oh yeah, that's what it is. And um, so you have to buy off the guild of receptionists, which I am not doing. Um, you have to. Because <laughs> mm. at the very least, if you're buying it, you still have to craft it, at the very least. So it's. One way around. Yeah, but I'm still I'm trying not to. Well, I'm avoiding spending guild. Unless for travel with an airship that that requires it, that's the only thing. Yeah, but, but that's what I'm saying, y yeah. you won't have a choice. Yeah. Other than start again and go as Lancer, let's say. Exactly. Or Conjurer. Switch to Marauder after and fly up in, in level for the first dungeon. Yeah. Quite simply because yeah. of the fact that, yeah, you have, you know, Woodworker and Leatherworker. Yeah. So that's all of Lancer's gear. Or do it as Conjurer and at least then you can still get easy enough cues with the uh, healing. Well, you'd be queuing yourself. So it's yeah, it's solo queue. <laughs> Can we use a trust system with two people? Uh, apparently, no. or solo only? Solo only. That's kind of shit. Yeah. The NPCs only. I don't wonder if there's any point in me continuing with this character. 
Oh, because you were going to do it as a kind of a group? Yeah, well, I was going to, yeah. Ah. Well, we need a full party of four then. We need four people doing this challenge. Yeah. The most awkward part of this is actually going to be running around the cities. There's another question actually then. If you're doing a pretty much all solo essentially. Yeah. Uh, why not go on a European server for better server connection? Didn't think of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so uh, the, pe the people we do play with can actually still transfer over and just follow us around or whatever if they wanted to. <laughs> Say I'm streaming you can, this you can do that now though, can't they? Uh, you, no. travel. You, you can data center travel but not cross uh, data centers. Or not cross regional data centers, you know what I mean? So you can travel to any EU or any any data center, but you can't travel from any to EU. Not yet. I thought, that, I thought that's what they're bringing in. They're working on and trying to get a working, but it's not in place yet. So I did try and go to one of them before, it was an EU server. And Okay, yeah. Now, one thing I did specify when I was doing this is the situation on the gear. So it's not to use the gear for combat, but you're allowed to use the gear for getting past a quest point as well. And that's the one thing I did kind of stipulate. That's why I have this no quest items which is situational. Because some quest items you have to use, like the cloaks you're given for specific quests, they're the ones I'm allowing to use, but not when you're doing combat around like that. Yeah. So I'll just have to figure out how I'm getting the gear is the thing. Does you need level 5 gear, or I level 5 in all slots, or just be at I level 5 in general? Um, it's a... Uh, I can't say. Item level 5 or above. Um, you need your head, body, hands, legs, and feet with gear level item 5. Okay, so you need all gear at I level 5. Yeah. Fuck. And these are, like, all the gear I have is item level 5 anyway. Apart from I'm missing a helmet. That's the only ah. thing I'm missing is a helmet, so I might actually get it from the quest. Pop it on. Boom. Yeah. Why'd it come here? Oh, Marauders goes why. I'm pretty sure for the blacksmith's quest, you do also craft a headpiece. Yeah, but again, so I have if you to don't get the get materials one, to craft it. <laughs> yeah. So, you, for that one, if you don't get a headpiece this way... Yeah. Actually, no, the other option would be a pain in the arse grind, uh, up to level 15, be a monsters only, and any side quest you have available. Yeah, but this is and level 5 quest you need to get past to get to level 15 quest. Uh, but there is a headpiece, leather eye patch, from this quest I'm doing. Ah, so there you go. pop that on and just 
and it use it to get past this barrier and then dump. Then, yeah, dump it. Yep. Ah, there you go. Yeah, I guess I'm not locking myself out completely because, like, like I said, there's some quests that give you an item you have to put on, use it for yeah. that, and then toss it. So I thought about that because I know you do get locked out completely. But I, I was thinking because I'm in level 1 gear, but then it's, as you said, it's item level 5, not level 5. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that'll leave that a little less uh, confusing. <laughs> yeah, like if you get potions around, like the foods and potions, they're not going to be used at all. Or because I didn't yeah, for myself. Yeah. Even then, you don't have to necessarily toss them, you can put them into storage. Yeah, the idea is get to level 15-ish, uh, unlock the first dungeon, and before we do the dungeon, well, before I do the dungeon, we're going to go and craft all the gear, and we'll get all the crafters up to level 15 as well. And that way at least everything's on par with my gear all crafted and sorted out and good to go. Hmm. You're gonna have to level Fisher for this as well, because some gear pieces require the coral and all that. That's why I also stuck in the old craft and gather logs for hundred percent which means uncover everything, catch everything. It's not. It's really not a difficult challenge at all. It's just time consuming, really. Yep, that's all. And I did have one on. It. I was thinking of putting in crafts at least one relic weapon from each X pack before you move on. Uh, that would take months. <laughs> so. Uh, <yeah. laughs> it's the tombstone grind. And then trying to farm gil for 400,000 gil solo. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> only, only for the first one, yeah. yeah. After Rarely Born, then you're fine. Heaven's Ward is, again, just a huge grind of homestone. It's, it's just homestone, that's all. Yeah. Like but it, that's again, though you... What? You could do the whole thing as a whole overall challenge of Heaven's Ward. But, uh... Ideally, for an, a perfect way to that you do it as per X Pack, get it before you move on to the next X Pack. Yeah. But, but then you're already going to be shooting up way over the levels with all the stuff you can do. Trying to find a boo boo, but he was knocking the hell out of me. <laughs> so I was just like, nope, it's not working. Uh, oh, there was one. I went to the middle. I 
Was that you watching the stream, by the way? Yep. Is it good or a bit choppy or how is it? It's choppy. Okay, so that means my Xbox need adjusting. Yeah. I was wondering because on my end it's choppy, but I thought it was my end that was doing it. So I don't know. I don't know exactly what it is. So. Still a bit choppy, or is it? Uh, start walking forward. No, still choppy. All right, okay. Uh, I remember I did this before, and I couldn't figure out why. Just stop the stream and get that modified because I can't do it while I'm streaming, which is annoying. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 